Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the rising concern of a spread of new virus largely in the African nation and recently in other parts of the world also and that is the monkeypox virus. So why there was a delay in the vaccines reaching to Africa which is believed by many experts has contributed to the rise of the number of monkeypox related cases and also its spread to the out of Africa. So let, us, so let us try to understand this in more detail. Now first of all the country which is severely affected by the monkeypox monkey pox is the Democratic Republic of Congo or also called as DRC. It has been referred by WHO as the epicenter of the monkeypox outbreak. So recently it has become, it has received the first donation of the monkeypox vaccine. Since 2022, that is the time when first January was the month when monkeypox virus started to make the news headlines and since then the cases has increased and now total 121 countries are said to be affected by the virus including 20 WHO member states that are in the African continent alone. Overall, if you look at the number of laboratory confirmed cases, it stands somewhere about 100,348, 100, including 229 deaths. Also, if you talk about India, it has confirmed its first monkeypox case, which was related to travel-related infection. That was that way of that was the way in which the COVID infection has also spread at a rapid pace. Now, the concern about the spread is related to the variant of the monkeypox. Basically, the monkeypox was first reported in the humans in the year 1970 and it has come under the spotlight largely due to the spread of its new clade 1b variant. When I talk about clade, clade basically refers to the common ancestry which organisms belong, which organisms belong to share with each other. So if we talk about the monkeypox, two different clades are there which are currently circulating in the affected population. First is called as clade 1 and second is called as clade 2. However, the clade 1 variant is much more deadlier than the clade 2. Now, even in clade 1, two type of variant we can recognize here. First is clade 1b, which seems to be transmitting more rapidly between people than previous variants, including through sexual activity. And second is clade 1a, which is mostly coming from the animals. Now, it is affecting more women and children also in the impacted African countries. As per the recent report released by the WHO, that is World Health Organization. If you try to look at the countries which are impacted by the monkeypox, as you can see, the almost all the countries, as we have discussed, 120 countries. So if you take a look at the map, almost all the countries seems to, seems to be having some cases of monkeypox. And the clade that is in largest circulation, as you can see, is the clade 2 that has affected the entire North American and South American continent and even in large part of Asia including India if you talk about also Oceania which is Australia New Zealand it is the clade 2 variant which is relatively less deadlier is in circulation. The more deadly clade 1 variant if you talk about is largely affecting the Central African and East African nations and to some extent in the Scandinavian countries which again is related to the travel related infections. So this is how we can understand the distribution of monkeypox. Now if you take a look at the development of vaccines, currently total three vaccines are available for the monkeypox. The first vaccine that is uh, that is basically all of all the vaccine before discussing we can understand all the vaccines basically that has been developed here are the weakened version of the vaccinia. Vaccinia here refers to a live virus that also has served as a basis for the smallpox vaccine. Now smallpox is something that has been eradicated from India and but smallpox and monkeypox both belong to the same family of the viruses. The major difference is the monkeypox is relatively less severe and the fatality rate is relatively lower here as compared to the smallpox. But on the other hand the transmission rate or the rate of the spread of the virus is much more higher because monkeypox has an animal reservoir that means through animals it can easily be contacted when the people are coming into contact with it. So if you take a look at the vaccines that are available to us today, the first vaccine is what is called as a modified vaccinia that is Ankara. This vaccine is developed by a Denmark based institute called as Bavarian Nordic. Now as far as the acceptability, acceptability and approval of this vaccine is concerned, it is most widely used, most common and also it has received approval from both 
two major organizations we have one is us that is food and drug administration and other is for the european union that you have em european medicine agency the second virus is something that is called as lc16mh which has been prepared by km biologics a company situated in japan as far as this virus is concerned it has only received approval from the local japanese regulatory authority the third vaccine is called as acam2000 which again is developed by an american company called as emergent biosolution and it is very recently this vaccine has also been approved for mpox by the food and drug administration not only that several other vaccines are in the stage of various stages of development one vaccine that is believed that it will soon be, uh, be can be used for the final trial is being developed in the germany now as far as india is concerned reports have stated that two institutes first that is the pune based serum institute of india it has announced that it is developing a monkeypox virus vaccine and it hopes for a positive outcome within a year and similarly icmr that is indian council of medical research it also has said that it has called for experienced pharmaceutical companies and research organizations to work on the mpox vaccine and to collaborate on royalty basis for developing the vaccines and the diagnostic kits so these are the efforts that we can highlight which has been taken by india to tackle a future rise or rapid rise if it happens in the cases of monkeypox the question that is being asked in media is that why african countries did not receive monkeypox vaccine sooner why it was allowed to spread at such a high rate and affect such a huge number of people because we talk about the number of people who are who have been infected by monkeypox virus in last 2 years most of them reside in the african continent now two reasons are given here first of all it is the expense and the cost of vaccine as far as the who data each dose of vaccine costs somewhere 50 dollar to 75 dollars which many of the african countries cannot afford and that is why these vaccines were not included in the public health care system now they have to usually this if the vaccine cost is very high african countries have to usually rely on direct donations that can be done by the developed countries or the vaccine producers in many cases or if it does not happen then purchases that is made by some international organization such as gavi that is global alliance for vaccines and immunization the vaccine alliance as well as unicef however gavi and unicef cannot buy vaccine unless the who issues an emergency use listing to products or gives them full approval now it is in this area where who has taken the decisions at a very delayed rate they are kind of risk averse as claimed by the expert and critics and it is due to this reason there is a shortage of vaccine uh, basically we can say delay in the uh, supply of vaccine second reason is also we can say that it is because of the laggardness shown by the african nations and it was largely because of the previous infections if you look at the previous infection or outbreaks that happened in the case of monkeypox the number of cases reported was very very low and since the number of cases reported was very low the same african countries thought that it will be similar in this time also and that is why many of them did not ask for the mpox vaccine as health official had to tackle far more serious health problems that is going on in these countries so we can say there is a kind of neglect that is shown by the countries themselves as well as due to the expenditure and cost of all the vaccine there was a delay in the supply however critics argue that there is a large scale vaccine inequality that we see across the world especially between the developed world and the developing world and thus the high income countries have their own drug regulations and they rely on them low and middle income countries are dependent on clearances which is to be given by who which is risk averse that actually uh, delays the overall decision making process and thus who and the developed world should have encouraged the sharing of smallpox vaccines earlier to protect people against more virulent diseases so this is something that we can understand as a conclusion however we have to wait and watch and see how the situation unfold and to what extends this outbreak basically spread across the world that is all for this particular video thank you very much